how are you doing? Doing okay, actually. Just about ready to turn the air conditioner on. I pulled the cool evening air in last night. Yeah, I did that too. Francis, you thought we sat in the other room, so there never were names like this. Okay. There's always a sort of a second class committee anyway. Thank you. Are you guys going to be seated in here from now on? I guess. I don't know if there's oh, not a meeting. Maybe somebody gets up. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Sure. I know right. there. I know there's some. Did you have a plaque for the recreational committee you were on? I'm not on any other committee right now. But when you were, wasn't there one of those? Recreation has them. Okay, because I, I know mean, there's I one. Used to make ones that just got a paper. Paper, yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Because I know there's one with my name on it somewhere, unless it was burned in effigy by Voldemort. Um, John has one because of the boards he's on. It's just, there's nothing being videotaped, just you and taping the, oh, it is. Yeah, Are you Zooming for, it? it? Yeah, it's for Zoom because uh, some people join and then we keep a copy of the video. And item. is the chat function on? Um, I think so. No, I don't think so. I don't see it at least. Okay. Yeah, I never heard anything about nameplates. Well, um, it's when it started. Well, we never really met in here. That's a super secure password. Yeah. It's yeah, as bad as people having the password password word. Yeah, we were actually told to make our passwords like that or something similar something's yeah because it's just for joining the zoom call yeah. um so like these are open to the public anyways so it's just to make it accessible to those people so they're not typing in some like crazy long combination of letters and numbers yeah Hi, Hi. there's okay. uh papers and stuff there to oh, pick up yeah. thank you How's everybody? Good. Hi. Hello. Sit here. Sit here. Yeah, I want to. That way it's easier to keep the breeze. Okay, here's our leader. There's some papers there to. Bills, papers on the table. And an agenda. I have oh, you got it? Okay. I have heard of it. I have a sentimental printer. I was looking for the guy with the lead right? <sighs> Who is that masked man? The Bundy. A Lone Bundy. Ranger. It's Lone Ranger? Yeah. That's right. Um, Dorothy Case needed a, we haven't opened yet, needed a ride to take, um, hires to the county, which I did. And she gave me a little flyer that was floating around in the barn that it, you know, this is local ephemera. Mm -hmm. It was a I forgot my hearing aid. I can hear, you know, Joe who Joe is over here, I'll over here the the goats and stuff. <laughs> he apparently he had run at some point for sheriff. So, good it is. Okay. I'll be so on she gave I'll it to me, early. which I have and all that. But she's saying uh -oh. she's got more crap she wants well, to, uh, oh, to give to the society. I said, it's kind of full. Cool. You know, like, yeah, yeah. And it's a bedroom set with five pieces of this oh, and wow. that, you know, and I think, yeah. well, that's kind of what I said. So up in the 50s isn't exactly yeah, historical. I 
mean, it's some people pay good money. Yeah. Well, I'm not a big fan. Pretty good. I've been laying low. No. Uh, but it's a you know. Yeah. Like everyone else, you know. One person's garbage is another person's gold, but mostly it's garbage. Stuff that was All right, I guess I'll have fully reading for order. Do you have anybody it's on, on Zoom? Zoom? I don't, it doesn't look like it. Anybody on Zoom? No, no one joined. The Paul email today, he's got a, some personal emergency. He's not going to be here. Okay. I'll leave it open just in case someone comes late. Yeah. Okay, let's see who's missing. Um, Chris. Yeah, and Peg. 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 Hey, Chris is in that phone number. Chris. Oh, there he is. Hey, Chris. Hello. It's safe to come in. You won't get. Oh, he's on Zoom. He's... Yo. Hello. Can't really hear there you. He is. I've got. He's in the backyard. Look at that. Yeah. He's hiding. Sorry, it's too nice of a day to be sitting inside. Yeah, where's the where's your cocktail? It's on the table. Uh it's behind the computer. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't drink during the week. I don't really drink on the weekends either. But you know. Alrighty. Young and smart. Okay, call the historic preservation meeting to order at seven thirty two p.m. In compliance with the Open Public Meeting Act, this is a regularly scheduled meeting pursuant to the annual meeting notice published in the January 28, 2021 issue of the Hunterdon County Democrat. A copy of the agenda was forwarded to the Hunterdon County Democrat, filed in the Township Clerk's Office, posted on the Bulletin Board and Township website on May 13. Alexis Antropoli. Here. Francis Gavigan. Here. Will Harrison. Here. Chris Sobieski. Here. Tom Churchill is not here. Ted Sullivan is not here. John Saramba. Here. Like salute. <laughs> pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. John, your phone. Oh, this is belly is on. Okay. All right. Review of agenda. Any. Any items want to be removed? Just anything of that nature? Everybody's fine with it. Uh, let's see. Is there a quick pull? Is there a quick collection thing in there? Because Alexis and I, no, we have did some more. So we did some other stuff. So add that into, I guess, new business. Yeah. Or it's, well, it's been on forever and ever. I know. But okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to make the motion to open to the public. I move we open to the public. Second. Second. All in favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 Seeing that there is no public. Well, like, we got to check. We got to check on the Zoom. It's Chris. Okay. There'd be a little screen if somebody yeah. else was on there. All Seeing right. no. What are you doing? Shut up. Well, See? you don't make motions. <laughs> Other people do. You ask for them. Oh, I know. Give I know. Them. I know. I know. I'm busted. Right. Not a so, smart idea. No, most make a motion. <laughs> I right. move we close the meeting, seeing no one present. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Presentation of the minutes. Has everyone had a chance to read it? Any comments? Any changes? But do I have a motion to? I move the the minutes. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah. Good job. Very good Lauren. job, Renee. Do I, that's great. Yeah. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Thank I move you. we approve the minutes. No, I second. second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You on, Chris? I think we lost Chris. Right. Maybe he's drinking. Yeah. Hello, Chris. We'll be back on, I guess. Um, Joe. Just joking. I'll just give him another minute. We didn't lose him, did I? I mean, yeah, we couldn't have lost him. No, he's still on there, but he maybe he's on mute. Yeah, it does look like Yeah, his mic here. is muted. Okay. 
All right, East Amos Historical Society, any updates? Uh, well, there should be a meeting next week. Uh, there's no current opening of the museum. There have been some discussions that honestly, I have not paid close attention to for getting some things done to uh, tidy up the space by the two guys that work for Rick or are paid by the society. I'm not sure if that would be particularly helpful or viable, given that um, Alexis and I went up there and looked to see, sort of come up with a to-do list of what could, should be done. And also we're down in the basement and green dotted things to move over. So it's just, and there's some furniture too. But the society is the status quo, I guess, really at this point in time. Okay. It's uh, yeah, with the COVID and I guess with the museum, um, I just want to bring up first, I, I offered a couple invoices. I'm actually waiting for some more to find out where the folders and the boxes of the asset has gone. Um, so far, I did have yet 10 boxes of light and legal size, light pan folders, asset folders. That was purchased on November 25th, 2018 for $394.50. And they can't be found anywhere. No, we looked. We There's looked. one box that we found and brought over. Right. And then, uh, you know, we need to talk to Paul because he's going to reach out to Jim. But then there's also boxes that were purchased that I haven't gotten the invoice for yet. And again, this is township money. This is not donation right. money or anything of that nature. All of these, that, and all of these items are missing. So, I was hoping Chris would still be on. I don't know what's going on here, but um, yeah, let me just do that real quick. Yeah, there were boxes. I remember this. Barbara asked me for a recommendation about folders and boxes, and I gave her one. She purchased them, and like I saw them over there at one point, yes. but I couldn't. We couldn't. We saw one box of folders. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, from what I was told, there was, you know, like the full, like I said, the 10, again, 10 boxes were purchased for $39 a piece. They're expensive. $394.50. And there was also actual boxes where these folders were supposed to go into that I haven't received the invoice yet. They're still looking for it until one of them purchased. But those, all those boxes are missing. They're all, gone. Yeah. All the asset boxes are missing. So I'm going to request that the township start a little investigation to see where they went. I mean, it's taxpayer money that's missing. Yeah. No, we did not look in the basement, although that would be the last place you would expect to put these things that they would be stored. The basement of Clawson House? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we didn't look there either. I mean, maybe it's it's there is a dehumidifier down there, so it's not the worst place on earth. Oh, but it also is leaks. But it you wouldn't expect archival material to be stored in the basement. Yeah, that would be odd. But we did. When we were over there, Francis, we just didn't go in. The, no, in the because you know, Alexis saw me crawling up and down the stairs because I'm not the most mobile. I person can go anymore. look in the basement. Actually. Yeah. Uh, just to be, you know, certain. The good news is Alexis now has code. Woohoo! Yes, I do now have a code. Oh, well, after all these years, there you go. <laughs> so. Yeah, but one thing I want to be part of the record is that there were prior, a lot of people have had access, there's been the door was locked and stuff. I don't know if it predates that, those materials, but there was a blunt, less than friendly transition period with Jim and then uh, the family of the Clawson family and different people 
there's not just the boxes that are missing. There are materials and things paid for by the society, like notepads or business cards that are gone. So it seemed to go about the same time that the boxes and who knows what else went because there wasn't an archive um, or an inventory. The only inventory that might be out there, at least of what was in there, is on a video camera that I, the day we opened it, I was asked to go around and I zoomed with the camera for everything that was in there. I now have to find that little SD card and then that could be compared to what one has there now, should there be any kind of formal inquiry. But it would appear to have been something with the T word. Well, the, the thing is, is that that should be done because if, if, the, if the nonprofit poll township takes over as the inventory. So technically, what I'm saying is the township owns the inventory of the museum. And if there's things that are missing there, they should be made aware of. Well, there's some kind of an inventory, but I didn't take it. I don't keep it. And well, I'm talking about your yeah. picture. Yeah, my picture is, but quite frankly, when I document something, I don't just hand it over to people, but I can certainly make copies of it. Because you never know when video well, or saying, audio wait. files are coming handy. Yeah, I think we should make copies of it. I have to find sure. it first. Uh, would you ask the society to consider activating the security system? I mean, we're talking about losing materials. We're I not going to be able to. to I don't think it's activated. Time. I don't, because I've asked Jason, and nothing against Jason. Okay, the video camera. Is it on a security system? Is there any tapes, any backup? The answer is no. If you're up there, you can see. He can see from his phone. Nobody I, else. I, I understand. What I'm saying is going forward, let's make it useful. An alarm system. Let's make there it is an alarm system up there. There's a keypad. That just lets you in and out. I can you can buy them at Home Depot. No, but there is the, on the inside. That right? There's one of those. Activated. It's oh, never yeah. been activated? Nope. I mean, that's a keypad for an alarm system. I use those at work. Yeah, and I think it was a case of didn't want to spend the money. Well, look. Yeah, aren't we losing money apparently when things disappear? And the thing is, though, you have to be careful about who has that code because even if you have the alarm system, if a lot of people have the code, you're still in the same situation. But a video camera doesn't care about a code that will record any human being who goes in the door and what they're doing on different floors or rooms, I mean, especially off the That gives you a clue. Yeah. yeah. It's helpful. Well, if the car was and backed the up system to the door, is there. All we have it. to do is allow it to record when it sees activity. Yeah, and download for archiving kind of thing. Could it and, just be? And and Jason has capability of tying into that from his office. But it's not. There's not a record or a tape or anything like that. That's why I'm bringing it up. That's great, and I will bring it up, but I think it's also something to bring up to the township because even though it's, well, it's up on Christmas, so long, yeah, something going on. Yeah, but um, well, again, too, with budget issues they got, I, I think it's only a couple hundred dollars, or you know, security and other well, things thing is, so I damn gotta, cheap. We got to find out what our budget is going to finally be. I think it's only going to be. Cover an A salary and maybe an extra five hundred bucks. You know, I, I think we're only budgeted for around twelve hundred dollars. It's um, minus my salary, it's five hundred dollars a year. Yeah, well, I don't think we're talking about a lot of money. Jason can tell if somebody goes in the grit yard because right. they've already prosecuted somebody. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not arguing. I'm, I, I'm just it. saying you can't be that onerous or expensive. To tie in that the, the camera system is is there. All we need to do is tie it into to the system where Jason can go back and review who entered and who and when. That's that should be simple. 
whatever it is. Uh, I'll try to reach out to Chris. And I'll reach out to Jason. Yeah. See what he says. Because I really think there could be more security. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if it's monitored for fire or anything like that or electrical. But one thing ancillary to the budget, and this may be off topic and off time, is we have a woman starting, young woman starting next week to be doing archiving, and there's no materials. Right. I mean, we don't need them right away, like, because she's going to be like going through the collection and the boring and stuff. But at some point, we're going to need them. Yeah, and I know we discussed that under the court collection. Sure, and the society should have, there's a lot of, there's almost as much stuff with the society um, as there was with Quick. So right. there's containers and there's other stuff, so. Okay. That uh, might end up being a shared cost, which I can propose. Right. Marilyn Cummings in the historic fruit certification. I have not spoken with her. I have not heard from her. Um, mm. It's the same situation that was last month and that the county is going to be fixing it. I haven't driven over there to see what's what. I could reach out to Matt Holt and find out what's going on. Um, yes, because I know she also wanted to work with us to get our bridges, you know, certified. Yeah, it was a delic. It was more of a kind of a delegation kind of thing. Um, Those, well, I've been had some other priorities, um, but I'll. No, yeah, I yeah. just want to see where we're at with that. Okay. Moving right along. West Amwell Township anniversary. Um, I reached out to the contact tracing from them, but they did not respond. All that I was able to find about the anniversary was this flyer. Uh, has a little bit of information on it, but not too much. It seems like they might have something going on in June. But... Yeah, well, I'm back. All right. Welcome back. Sorry, my dog. My dog ran off. I had to go chase her. That's <laughs> what I got for doing this outside, you know. And then, uh, so we went. We went to Chris back up a little bit. Um, we went. I I had offered some invoices from Krista, and I'm still waiting for one. Uh, on the legal size and boxes, acid boxes that we had for the uh, society. Yeah. That's totally missing. Yeah. One of the invoices was November 25th, 2018, 10 boxes of legal light tan acid folders that go in the boxes, $395 worth of township money. Mm -hmm. uh, there was also back in, at the beginning of this thing, back in December 20th, 2014, uh, 10, you know, storage, storage boxes and envelopes. All this stuff is missing. So I, 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 what I had said before is I would ask the township maybe to do a little investigating. Yeah. Contact the members that were on the board here at the time to find out where all this stuff is because this is taxpayer money that's missing yeah. Has, has anyone asked around the uh, the historical society? Maybe somebody there might know something. Maybe, like maybe they got lost in transit over to Clawson House. I mean, Alexis remembers seeing him. Yeah. She and I searched for him downstairs here and up and around. No luck. There. We found yeah. one. Yes. All right. All right. Well, at least we got one, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I'll. God, I'm not good at investigating things, but I can definitely uh, take a crack at it. All right. I, I would appreciate it. Of course. Like I said, taxpayer money when I could. Yeah. Back. Yeah. No, we should definitely figure out what happened with those because, you know, 
four hundred bucks is four hundred bucks. So. Well, well it's more than yeah. that. Was eight hundred. Yeah. All told. Right, but I did. Yeah. That was just one order. Yeah. A corollary to that was some discussion of the house is wired for a security system, but it's not active. Apparently, Jace, uh, Jason can check it from his cell phone and whatever, but nothing is taped. There are no records or anything of who's, you know, somebody could be running through the house naked and you'd never know unless he's looking at his cell phone. Oh, that was the. Well, well, we might we might not want to know about that one, but. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying, or, or packing things and calling them out the back. Yeah. With Riz, but. Yeah. I'm gonna send an email to Jason, and I'll copy you and John. Okay. What would be involved, along with cost, to activate that and start getting some tapes made, like you do with the grit yard? Yeah, I mean, it would be pretty. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, it would be pretty cheap to just get like a like an external like drive or something like because I would assume it's all digital. He could just save it on there. You know, you get something worth like, you know, like a hundred bucks. You probably get like 12 terabytes worth of data. You could store yep. years of footage on there. And then you can compress it and everything else. Yeah, exactly. But anyway. Be pretty minimal expense. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, I guess we'll go on to the new business. The first one is congrats to Chris as being the new attorney at passing his bar exam. Oh, thank you. You don't have to do that. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Remember this, you know, please on it. You know, we have to say thank you. And if any one of us gets gets in trouble, we'll be giving you a call. That's pro bono. No, that was hey, I got a uh, I got an A in criminal law. That was one of the few classes I got an A in, so I, I got your back. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, you, you may be able to use it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I am a bad, bad. Uh, all right, so you guys wanted to talk about the quick collection, you and Alexis. So I right, and shut me up for saying what it is. Um, Alexis and I went through Clawson House and also downstairs, and we did a rough marking with little green dots of things to get to the museum so that our intern can go through a quick collection and at least have a, a bit of an inventory. One of the things we found downstairs was an inventory of the quick collection and evaluation that had been done in 2011-2012 um, of, of it, which at least has some information on what we had then um, and some minutes and some work, looks like work that uh, Barbara and maybe Peg yeah. Sullivan had done. So there's stuff ready and marked to move. We need to get the office upstairs reorganized and also some stuff moved, um, possibly stabilized because the uh, some of those storage shelves, they're not exactly what you'd call balanced but some are sort of at a 45 degree-ish angle. Um, and there's some furniture downstairs, a piece of furniture to come up there. And then some of the makeshift stuff that Jim back in the day did with a board and a could move to the office to try to reorganize organize and make more efficient use of space that's in there for the boxes. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we discussed that's kind of handy considering that the museum is currently closed would be to put some of the boxes inventory overflow in one of the rooms, probably the one adjacent to the office if we can't fill up the office. Um, I talked to Jason that day while we were here and wanted to see if I could get the road crew, somebody to lift the stuff up and down. I could cart it over there in my truck, in my car, and somebody can get it up and down and do it. And he informed me that, well, they'd already started road work. And the only time they might do stuff like that is on a Friday 
and send an email or an ask, but I didn't get a warm, fuzzy feeling like it would potentially happen in any time soon um, because they're on the roads and doing stuff. So if there is a bit of a work party. Yeah, I was, we can do I was just going to say, if you just tell me, tell me when you show up and I'll, and I'll, I'll carry it, you know, yeah, I'm a spry well, young guy. I think I can handle it. They've got little green dots on the box. And I don't know if a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, mm. you know, maybe Sunday morning or something we could spend the morning and do it. I mean, I've got a truck with a tonneau cover, but I've also got cars that can back up real close and have hauled stuff over there too. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, look, I'm, I'm already laying a hand whenever, so. Maybe a work date to do that and then yeah. maybe dismantle or move around some of the stuff that is junky in that archive room. Uh, because there's stuff. Yeah, you would just notify Mr. Catnaps about. I would definitely him, but I don't think the society has the financial wherewithal to be paying people twenty-five dollars an hour to do it when they don't know what. Uh, well, I didn't are. mean that. Just let right. know that you're, what you're doing on it. So, if are there any volunteers for this Sunday morning to move some stuff over? I am. I volunteer. I don't know if I have. I have to check. Okay. I yeah, I gotta check. I gotta. I have to go to like a gender reveal party on Sunday, believe it or not. So I gotta. All right. Well, I don't know what time that's at. Morning or so. Eighty pounds of explosive, like the guy did. I know. No, he had like a hundred pounds of tannerite, right? Was that was that guy you're talking about? Yeah. That yeah, that was nuts. Federal. I don't think they're doing anything that crazy. Hopefully. Yeah. No, it's just if we can get some folks together, I will send an email. And I will include Kat Nachi. Yes. And maybe Alexis, you and I could make an appointment if we can't do something on Sunday mm -hmm. to just start to maybe move a little bit. If I'm standing still, I can pick and move and put down and maybe put red dots on things to be taken out of there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Little stuff. I got, a, uh, I got one of those dolly things too, for the, the hand trucks, is that what they're called? Yeah, I can bring yeah. that. It might make it easier. Can it do stairs? We can, we can find out. All right. You know? <laughs> I've got little things too, but I just sort of stood on one, put it on it, and step step. The yeah. Awkward I mean, way. For the time being, I can um, bring Lauren over here on Tuesday to look at the stuff that's still here. But at some point, it's going to need to be in one spot. Yeah, and segregated because the problem with what things are there is it's wherever there was a place to put stuff, whether it was society, quick, or whatever else they had, it's all jumbled together. There's a lot of stuff on the one shelf that's closest to the hallway, which I would say would still be a place to have to concentrate the quick collection so that Lauren can work somewhat efficiently. But, um, you know, everywhere you go in that house, it's one step down, one step up. You know, it's, an, it's very easy to fall down a flight of stairs there. Mm -hmm. um, so if we can try to, and if you do something during the week, I can come okay. too, preferably not a Monday, but, you know, Anyway, there's just work to be done. I'll reach out to Hank. I think that there's going to be a society meeting next week, which is usually the fourth Thursday. And this, you know. Is the there a copy of that report that Seth served? Yes, I got it scanned and sent to me. It's in my email that Pauline was kind enough to scan for me. Okay. And I got caught up in stuff and did not uh, forward, and that's that's a ban on me. Okay, if you could just yeah send it to me so I can get it to Lauren. Yes. Because it'll be good background information for her. The other thing is that I assume that Clothin House has a Wi-Fi. 
Oh, the password, yeah. Yeah, is there, do we know if there is a password or where it might be? Because it might be easier for her to do some of the inventory and such like on a laptop or the or something like that. Yeah, the iPad, activate, charge the iPad for her. To oh, no. Don't bark. Sorry, my dog's going off. Hold on. Okay. Um, set her up with Swirl. a either a laptop she could use or the iPad that belongs to the society that I showed you where it was and then that stuff could be put on there. We also do desperately need to password protect the computer that's in there because there have been instances where files were deleted over in the past and some were or not um, recovered, like some invoices. Um, anyway. Should we set, set up that computer to have an automatic backup? That would need to connect to the web and we'd have a thing to an automatic, but right now it's still in the 1400s. I'm a member of the society. I'm not the leader of it. And it's, I guess we could put together some kind of a report to send out as to things that may be to be done that might get further. I'm just concerned about files being, being deleted and not and no way to recover it. Well, I went in and on a drive of my own, I backed up what was on there at the time. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start, but since then it's been six months and anyone could go in and out of there because the office is not secured. It you know, there was some sort of thing about, oh, it would be historic or attractive. Well, security for both the archive room and the office, you know, there are, there is a, a middle ground possibly that could be um, done to secure that. So I'll include that in my to-do. All right. So if we can't find, um, if we can't get onto the Wi-Fi, who would we contact to figure that out? I thought it was on that page that was on that desktop that I sent you. Did you get the email I sent you? Which one? I sent you an email in response to your email that it might be on that page that was on the desk that talked about Comcast and whatever, and whatever okay. the password was. Jason, I think, knew it, so. Okay, I did get that email where you said that it was probably. Yeah, I just didn't page. go okay. up looking for it. That's fine, that's fine. I can go double check something. Now that I have a code, I can go look and see. Yeah. All and right. I apologize if I'm intense, but it's been a long time. It's been a long time since the quick electric has worked. Yeah, well, it's so, there was stuff done so, by Barbara oh, and, and them, but it's yeah. been fit since first. And um, so Lauren starts this Friday, um, but I have there's plenty for her to do okay. with what's just acquainting herself with things. Okay. All right, you know where the iPad is, yes. So if you want to take it in the charger and charge it, and before then, you know, there is extraneous stuff that is on that iPad because it was used in the past for personal photos and other things, but I don't know if that's local ephemera, but <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing is since she's going to be here Fridays, I think most of the time, that's a day when we could do some of the moving. Right? And that was the day that Jason said would be most likely to have people available because they did the road work Monday through Thursday and 
You know, I think that's his running around day. So maybe if we could get him to at least go over there and see what we want moved. Friday, when she's there, that could be a start. Yeah. So, uh, okay, if I tell Jason to contact you, Chris? Yeah, don't, don't give me a call whenever. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. All right. So let's move away from the quick week. That's the part. Township committee report, Chris? Yeah, so finally, some good news. I got the, uh, the big package together to send out to the state for the, uh, for the Clawson House roof thing. So it's just a matter of hearing back from them. I, uh, when I, I sent it out last week, um, I meant to email the, the woman today to see like what the turnaround time on that would be. I mean, hopefully faster than the county who took like, you know, a little while, but uh, yeah, so that's moving in the right direction. And beyond that, can't think of, I don't think I really have anything else for you guys. So keep you posted though. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a price of materials and stuff, so I, kind of I know, I know. Well, the good, I mean, the good thing is like, I mean, look, this should have been done a long time ago, but if we're using the faux slate and they okay it, I would imagine that'd be cheaper than getting real slate. So maybe, you know, in a roundabout way, it sort of worked out that way for the best. Uh, I mean, I don't know how, how expensive that stuff is now, but I would imagine it's gotta be cheaper, you know? Faux slate? Post late. Yeah. And the house around the corner was um, just done with that material. Isn't that what you yeah, mentioned? The, the, the Larison office on oh. Larison Lane had a uh, roof going on, it took two days. So I think it looks very nice. Mm -hmm. It's faux slate. Yeah. They have I mean, a, you know, yeah, no, go, go on. I mean, to cut you off. Worth looking at. Okay. The did it seems to know what they're doing. Seems they seem to really do a good job. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you know what? When I was doing some research on it, 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 it sounded like just because of the weight of the actual slate, it might you know it's probably better to have the lighter material on on Clawson House because think how old that building is. You know that. I mean, I'm sure it's still structurally sound, but I mean, for how long is that going to last? You know. It's a very substantial building. The beams up there yeah. you find in an old. 1800s uh you know carriage barn or something they're like macho okay all right well that's good uh, let me let me just go back to the west end anniversary today you brought that attention before that there was nothing to be heard from them yeah i emailed the contact person that was on the flyer uh but they didn't respond Eddie jane hunt Okay, because I know they wanted to think if we wanted to work with them, so why they're not responding to us. So, okay. I guess that's why we have a West End East Ham. Well, that what's kind of funny looking at this flyer is that Maryland's not on this list. Mm -hmm. Nice birds. Yep. Yeah. All right, um, Farmland Open Space Committee. Oh, Paul's not here. Paul's not here. Uh, he so we'll said that he had nothing for it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, presentation of vouchers. I don't see any. Well, didn't we have that one? Well, no, yeah, we're going to discuss two. the membership thing. Okay. We didn't, we didn't approve it yet. And I had given it to you to look at. To see if we wanted to do it, we can approve it tonight. That's, well, I think we need the past perfect hosting. Well, we'll, well yeah, well, well, let's let's just finish. Going. Oh, we got open to the public. Okay, I move we open to the public. Sure. You want to have a motion to close to the public, seeing no one here. I move we close to the public, seeing no one here. Second. All, All in favor? favor. Aye. 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 Aye, 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 aye. All right. So now you got the. We talk about the the membership that we've always done. We always do the ninety eight dollar amount um, on the A A S L H membership, 
And I'm just asking the people from the, the committee's opinion, do we still want to do it since money's short or do we want to continue to, to, to join? I always thought it was a valuable resource, but I can you know, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Well, I don't think that's the only thing is, is if we do approve, just so you know, the membership and the invoice, our budget's pretty well gone for the year. Um, would it be legal, criminal lawyer, if I were to donate the AASLH renewal fee of $98? Can I pay for that? And who would I make out a check to? Um, I don't think it's illegal. Probably want to talk to Krista about that, though. She's that, that's more her like kind of scope, but I don't see any problem with it. So is it? I can't think of any. Is it a sense of the committee that I can give that money to approve it so that we have it without it affecting the budget? Uh, I have only one thought, and that is, if we have money in the in the in the budget right now. Let's use that at the end of the year if we have a crunch, then we'll all come looking at, at Branson. Oh, no, I would think we would look at yeah. still feel magnanimous at Christmas time. Yeah, but we're gonna need to some of that money on supplies. Hey, I could even do cash. Should I leave cash here? Merry Christmas. Well, it's, that takes care of all my cash. Right. And, and on the past perfect software. Um, the three hundred eighty dollars, which you're, you're right, we do need. If we are a member of what you're want to donate, it's then cheaper. There's, then there's a, a discount, but they don't pay with the discount. And unfortunately, our annual hosting on that best perfect online expires on May twenty fifth, and then you have to have sixty days after that to renew. Now, so would that cause? Right. Ooh, I got an extra ten dollars. Somebody got. I mean, we've had pairs perfect ever since I've been on this vacation for five years. Oh, we we, we, we yeah. need it for so the pictures of the quick question. Yeah. Yeah. So so we I, need I a have catalog. To put it, to put I need to bring it up this way. Yeah. Well, can I make a motion that we continue our? Yep. Our I'll second that. Perfect, except for the three hundred eighty with a possible discount. Right. Okay. And I have Francis with a second. I want to do a roll call on this because it's spending a month. Alexis? Uh, yes. Francis? Yes. Will? Yes. Chris? Wait, you don't vote, sorry. Nope, you're good. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And that's my agenda I just lost. Oh, it's about used it up. It just used it up because now just... I need a motion to adjourn. All right, so move. A second. Sure, why not? I second everything else. Uh, I move we adjourn. So we will move. Do you need to? I'm a second. We'll move. I'm a second. So if are we approving the bills? Are we at least approving one of those bills or well, signing we, things? We, we, we approved Cast Perfect. And you volunteer to make to, to donate. And if you want to donate, that's up to you. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, I, that's that's not a that's not a decision of the committee. Well, okay. Right. So, thank you, Francis. Yeah. yeah. Taxpayers of East Amwell. Yeah. Okay. Can I've you, spoken can up. You hear the, can you hear this coming over uh, coming over Sarahland Mountain? <laughs> All that applause? No, but I, I can hear the incoming flack coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so we're adjourned. Okay, that would All be right, Crystal. All right, have a good night, everybody. Take it easy. Stay safe. Yeah, I keep you sanity. I'll I'm gonna do my best. We'll see what happens later. You do know what happened to him at the town committee.